With only one day to go until the rose ceremony, Carrie-Anne seizes her chance to make a move on the bachelor. Oh, well, I like you a lot. I like you a lot. Oh, is it, is it really nice? I have no idea. Back in France, Carrie-Anne was the first girl to get passionate with the bachelor. But then rumours surfaced that threatened her place in the competition. I found out that you had a moment with a, with a guy and you kissed him. I did not kiss him. Not at all. And although Gavin had doubts, he gave her a lifeline and decided he couldn't send her home. Well, I've obviously developed these feelings for her and I just can't let them go. That's my weakness, I think. I and tonight, like Carrie Anne is determined to win back the bachelor's trust. The main thing that I care about, like, it's not so much about the looks, like, obviously, it's the initial attraction. Yeah. I just want someone to actually care about me, someone to love me. Do you really want that, though? Yeah, you do. Do you really want that? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I want to do. I want to love someone so much. So do I. You really do? <laughs> so do I, that's all I want, right? You coming over and telling me everything you just said, just being honest there and open and you know, I've I've really needed and wanted that to be honest. Because I told you I have strong feelings for you. I'm a team and like, I'm having, you know, I have concerns. But then I'm thinking, you know, as long as a girl is honest now and completely what she is now. And, Which you know what I mean? You're not particular. You're not particular. You're, that's the thing. And, and I know that's, this is you. And I know, and I think, and I think you're flirtatious, and do you know, all that. And I'm got a problem if you like that from day one. I'm it's, flirtatious it's towards bedroom. you, just because like. I kind of feel that like I have to be like just in front of these guys. I, know, of course, I feel like I need to stand out, but if I'm in a relationship, 100% lonely, that's it. Yeah? It's pleasing. I don't yeah, want anyone else. Really pleasing. I don't want anyone else. As long as, like, yeah. as, long as sure? you can make me happy and you care about me, love no, me, no, respect me, and, it, and it's the same thing, like, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Although the bachelor may have welcomed Carrie Anne's attention, not everyone feels the same way. Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm open to one on ones with anyone. Yeah, of course, you know. but like. What if she's talking about something deep, you know? So I'm not going to cut her off and go, sorry, the group are not happy. I, I don't know. I think because Carrie Ann's obviously got the balls, go up to him and talk to him. I do like sort of like respect her in a little way, but I do think a lot of girls um, got a little bit jealous about that because I think that a lot of them haven't spent time with him. And it's not the first time that Carrie Ann has managed to rile the girls. After rumours spread that she had kissed another man, the bachelor's decision to keep Carrie Anne in the running caused a split amongst the girls. There's absolutely no point in us being here. I feel like I'm in a, I'm in a fucking pantomime. Nikki decided to walk out of the competition. I really think I might go. In fact, I think I'm going. Yeah. And Georgie refused a rose. Before I say yes, no, just before I say yes, I would just like to have a little chat with you just to get some stuff off my chest first, if that's all right. But Gavin like, managed to reassure her here. that the competition was far from yeah. over Did and Georgie know? decided to stay. Yeah, it'll upset me too. But tonight's pool party seems to have reopened some old wounds. I'm sorry, but I think you have to respect other girls, other, other people's feelings that are involved in the party. I'm not having a go, I'm just explaining why people are leaving and stuff, so... <laughs> It's kind of like how everyone's generally yeah, feeling. I'm not going to cut a girl down if she's going to come and speak to me and open up her heart and tell me things. That's fair, that's fair enough. But and you... I will do the same to each and every one of you. I don't okay. know what you expect. I'm just, I'm just explaining why everyone's feeling a bit like, well, it's not really a party, let's all go back to bed. <laughs> so girl I don't know what to do. She to feel like she's been given the time of day by you, but... I know, and I'm not I sure that that's the case. But I obviously have a responsibility to try and give everyone time. And obviously you all felt like I've given her way too much time there tonight. But when we're at this, at this particular stage, when I got seven girls, I feel a lot about. And as you just witnessed then, like one girl is forthcoming. That kind of makes my decision in a way sometimes. And you know what I mean? I, I don't know, I'm an honest guy, you know, I'm not going to lie about things. 
it feels almost feels like we've had our first argument <laughs> you've really put yourself out there and been really completely honest with him and like, it kind of upset me a bit but then I've thought about it and I'm just like well obviously if it doesn't work it doesn't work that's fine but it's just it's still very disappointing Everyone's feeling a bit, sort of, what was the point of us being there? I think he was so caught up in the conversation between him, himself and Carrie-Anne that he wasn't interested in anyone else.